Alright, so this video is going to be extremely different from my others. Um, bit controversial, but it's the truth and it needs to be said. This is going to take a lot of swearing and a lot of F-bombs and a lot of rage. Because it's needed. Let's start out. SH monster arts these days fucking suck. Fucking suck. The company fucking sucks these days. I don't care. You can go... And defend it all you want. The company fucking sucks right now. It does. It has sucked since 2015. And. Why are you saying this? Oh King Prime why are you saying this? You're not a Godzilla fan. I once was. Alright. I once was. I once was a big Godzilla fan. I left Godzilla. And I'm glad I did. One second. Here is my. OG. 2019. NECA. Atomic Blast Godzilla. My favorite paint job ever applied to a figure. Ever made. Transformers can't even beat this paint job for me. A paint job on this figure is just luxurious. <clears throat> now being said, what the fuck happened to SH? I left Godzilla when NECA left. I left Godzilla when GVK came out. I thought GVK was an abomination. I absolutely hated GVK. I thought it was the worst Godzilla movie ever made. I still do to this day. They killed Mecha Godzilla off five minutes after he entered the screen, with being only two minutes of him when he is on the screen, and that's not even fighting Godzilla and Kong. Your main attraction for that movie was Mecha Godzilla. I don't care. Oh, it's actually Godzilla fighting Kong. No, it wasn't. It was Mecha Godzilla, 100%. And you kill him when he's only had like six minutes of screen time. Six. And it's called Godzilla vs. Kong. Meanwhile, Godzilla has like freaking five minutes of screen time. Kong over here gets the whole fucking movie. And that's another thing I hate. Monsterverse. Godzilla is your main character and they're taking all their support and going to Kong. Fuck you, Legendary. Fuck you. I don't care. Godzilla is your poster boy and you're giving all the support you're giving all the support to Kong. Fuck you, Legendary. I don't care. Fuck you. But let's start out with the biggest, biggest what the fuck moment in the Godzilla series right now. Tamashi Goddamn Nations. Let's talk about their most recent line. The Godzilla X Kong SH Monster Arts line. Let's start out with the basics. You had that lazy ass repaint of the 2021 Godzilla and the lazy ass repaint of the 2021 Kong for starters. Oh yeah, I'm going there. I'm going there. Then they have the audacity to have the balls to release Scar King. They haven't released him yet, but they showed him. And include the Beast Glove. What the fuck, Tamashi? No, seriously, what the fuck? The most pivotal accessory in that whole movie that differentiates Kong from 2021. And you lock it behind Scar King. What the fuck? That's, that's seriously, what the fuck? And people, people let that wash off. But you can't excuse this next part. S.H. Monster Arts Shimo. So, they expect you to buy a entirely inaccurate shit figure and get the smallest difference in a Kong head being the silver tooth when it should have been included with the first figure in the goddamn first place. Yeah. Fuck you, Monster Art. Fuck you, Tamashi. I don't care. Fuck you. Yeah. You want to know what started my hate between Tamashi Nations and how I feel about them? SH Monster Arts 2019 King Ghidora. I owned that figure. I don't own it anymore. I sold it off. But I owned it. And for the short time I did, 
the head wouldn't stay on. I had to glue the wings on. I had to do surgery to the tail to make the tail even slightly function. And on top of that, the thing was so heavy, it was causing the little struts for the wings to stress. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it happened. I'll never forgive Tsumashi. And I'll never buy a figure. You want to know what company I'm seeing go in the right direction? Hia. I'm telling you right now, I will definitely be picking up the Hia GMK Godzilla. Because that is probably my favorite Godzilla design ever. I will definitely be picking that up. Because Hia is doing what the fans want. SH Monster Arts hasn't included a blast accessory, I don't know, since... <sighs> since the original GVK Godzilla 2021. I believe they included it with the lazy repaint. But, yeah. Hia listens to the goddamn fans. Look at their evolved Godzilla. And look at the Monster Art one. The Monster Art one looks so fucking small it makes me sick. The Hia one looks proportional, accurate, and on top of that, doesn't cost 140 fucking dollars. Yeah. SH Monster Art Shimo, what is it, 270 to 260 or something like that? Meanwhile, over here, Hia is selling it for 60 On top of that, they released theirs the same day the movie released, and it was screen accurate. SH, you had so much time to make your accurate. But no, no, you didn't. You had to go for the concept art head and make the nails fucking black. Fuck you. Fuck you, SH. Yeah. Am I being at a height a uh, Hia Glazer? Maybe, but that's because the company is going in the right direction. The skull crawler is bad because it's got a bendy wire. Okay. Monster Earth has ball joints. And those ball joints will weaken over time. Yes, so you can say glue and fix it, but that doesn't make it permanent. It will continue getting loose, and eventually it just won't stay on. The bendy wire, it will take a long time for that plastic to tear. Because the bendy wire is metal, so unless you get it wet and it rusted, it will stay as strong as you got it when it comes out of the package years after you're playing with it. Case in point. Case in point. Give, give, me, give me one second. All right. Granted, this is a knockoff. Fuck you, Alistair. Whatever. This is a NECA Shin Godzilla KO. This is a knockoff, I believe it is. This bendy wire is still as strong as it is once you got it out of the package. Meanwhile, Monsteros over here, imagine you get one on bring it out of the package, two years later it's just... Yeah, that's Monsteros essentially. So, you can't tell me that all bull joints is better when a bendy wire will hold up the time, will hold up to the test of time, while ball joints will just flop. Hia, oh the Hia Godzilla can't look up so far. Okay, keep complaining about it and then Hia will actually do something about it. Meanwhile, SH Monster Arts took years for them to fully accept Godzilla can look fully up. Okay. See? See here? Yes, granted, he does have ball joints in the tail. But, I can't really say anything about that, because if I say anything about that, I'm going to be hypocritical. So, yeah, they do have ball joints, but moving on. Hia actually includes beam effects when it's an atomic breath figure. Meanwhile, as Monster Arts atomic breath GMK Godzilla over here has a paint job, no beam effect. Let's see here. The only time I can think of when an SH Monster Arts atomic breath figure had a fucking beam effect when it was an atomic breath figure was the 2014 Spitfire. Or the SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla Atomic Breath version. When the whole figure was based upon that scene and had the breath part. 
You see this now? You see this? SH Monster Arts is fucking you. And the minute you start glazing them, the minute I'm gonna lose all respect for you. Fuck you, Monster Arts. And everything you're doing with the company.